Good morning. It's Saturday, November 10th. Going to do a little bit of a garden update. We've got our asparagus and some lettuce. Or lettuce. Basil. <laughs> basil in here finishing up for the season. Around the edge we have some wildflowers that are still kind of finishing themselves off. We've got cauliflower here. No, cabbage, cabbage. This is Aptenia or hearts and flowers. Uh, just planted a cover crop here, so protecting it from the birds a little bit. You can see there's the nice yellow flower. Back here we've got my shadow. We've got a potato bed that's just finishing up, and then we had a, a basil plant popped in there. Got our rhubarb and our onions that we planted too late. Basil's in every bed though. Our zucchini, here it's the November 10th and the zucchini is still just doing fabulous. Summer squash is doing great. Uh, we just harvested a bunch of beans out of here. There's a few peppers in there, but they had a rough start this year. This here bed is broccoli and cauliflower. I got some Russian red kale on the end. Our carrots are starting to do real nice. We had something eating them for a while, but they seem to have recovered and they're starting to fill in. The mullen has just been wacky lately. All the leaves going crazy. We think maybe it's going to prepare for a stock next year. Just harvested some Siberian kale and we harvested the flowers of our calendula. This is a fall planting of garlic. It's just going crazy. So it's the first time I've really gone grown garlic. So we'll see how that plants. This is our uh, watermelon and sweet potato bed. That's just about fried for the winter, but it's still kicking. We've got a watermelon over here. We've got a couple weeks of frost free weather left. So hopefully we uh, make it through. Normally our first frost is November 9th. But I think we made it through that. The whoop forecast is looking good. This bed, I'm not sure what happened. I planted a whole bunch of beets, some turnips, and some Swiss chard. And nothing grew. So, except for the turnips, obviously. So I think I'm going to start just putting everything indoors and starting them that way instead of trying to start them outside. There's too many, too many bugs and and uh, lizards and different things that get into them. This is the nicest bean or uh, I'm sorry, sugar snap peas that we've ever had. They're really doing well. We just harvested a whole bunch off of those. Pepper plants got eaten by the uh, ants this year, so that was rough. We've got uh, here our tomato bed. This was an initial planting this year. I think we had done a video with the, with the chicken tractor that's over here on top with the uh, chickens in there. They started this bed. And I put compost on the top and the tomatoes have been just going wild ever since. So I think I planted a little too many. I planted 26 tomatoes in this three by or four by eight bed. A little tight, but uh, they've been happy all summer or all fall, actually. I just got this guy going here. We've got some radishes on the end. I had printed arugula in here. It got eaten by something, so I replanted uh, Swiss chard and lettuce that I grew indoors. And then this whole end was supposed to be 144 plants, of, or maybe it was even 192, I can't remember now, of spinach. Most of those got ate off by something, so I think I had 12 survived, and then I had like 7 that I planted indoors, and so they're back in here now. So that's pretty much an update for our garden for this November 10th, it got down to 41 degrees last night. And that's the coldest it shows in the forecast for the next couple of weeks. So hopefully we can get some more nice growth and prepare some of these beds with cover crops for next growing season in the spring. And I'm hoping to really have a, a nice setup going next year. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, you guys have a great Veterans Day. Honor our veterans. God bless.